Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of Larson Chapter 2 on descriptive statistics. We're given the information about heights of men on a baseball team. We're told that they have a bell-shaped distribution, which should be a clue that this is a normal distribution. We're given the distribution's mean of 181 centimeters and a standard deviation of 9 centimeters. And we're asked to use the empirical rule to find the approximate percentage between these two sets of values. Remember, the empirical rule is also known as the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. But what we're talking about is that 68% of the data or the values in a bell-shaped distribution or normal distribution are found between minus 1 and plus 1 standard deviations, 95% between minus 2 and plus two standard deviations, and 99.7 within minus three and plus three. Now you can use that information in your calculator to find these probabilities, but I would recommend that you learn to use StatCrunch calculators to do this kind of problem. Remember, you can go to the question help if you're in my stat lab, click on that, and then open up StatCrunch from there. Once you're in StatCrunch, you just go to Stat, Calculators, Normal and we open up the normal calculator. When it opens, it comes up with the standard normal distribution, which has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Here we're given a mean of 181, so we enter that, and a standard deviation of nine centimeters, we enter there. So before we click compute, let's click on the between button because we're given two values, and we need to enter those, 163, 199 and then we click compute and we get an answer of 0.954 that's the area in red under the normal distribution or the bell-shaped distribution 95.4 percent of the data is found in that red area between these two values then we just enter the final two values 154 208 click compute and we see we get our 99.7 percent in that red area. One final thing I'll show you just to solidify the empirical rule. If we put back our standard normal mean of zero and standard deviation of one, and we put in minus three standard deviations and plus three standard deviations and click compute, we get 99.7, which we should, and that confirms the normal distribution follows the empirical rule. Hopes this helps.